Well, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, and welcome to another edition of Crossroads Community News. We took the week off last week. Mick was on vacation. I was a little under the weather, but we have an exciting one for you today. Uh, if you've noticed in the mornings, the air is a little cooler. Uh, fall sports are back in session, which means school is right around the corner. So we're super excited about that. But with that being said, um, this week I talked about how Jesus is the head of the body and how the body is made up of all of these different parts and difference is a good thing. Mick, what would you say about that? Well, it's one of those things that we need to learn. I mean, the end of the summer means that learning is coming about in school coming back into session. Teams are getting back together. And one of the things that's difficult for us is dealing with conflict that's based on diverse opinions and diverse perspective. And the reality is it's really a healthy thing. And I was thinking of three different areas where it's healthy. Tell us about, say, teams. How does diversity uh, benefit or strengthen teams? Well, let's take football, for example. If you had a bunch of quick little dudes running around the field, you wouldn't have any big linemen or big linebackers to either protect you or to tackle people. If everyone was all big, you'd be very slow. So on a football team, you have 11 positions on both sides of the ball. And if everyone was the same, things wouldn't go so well because everyone has a different role and purpose that they play, that they have been gifted to help the team with. And so diversity is good. These different... Um, abilities and, and talents are what help us make up a greater and bigger team. What about in something like marriage? Yeah, in the marriage uh, situation, every marriage goes through their differences of opinion and has conflict. But interestingly, God, when he designed Adam and Eve, said that Eve was going to be a complement to Adam. And our spouses are a complement. They help us fill in those areas where we have blind spots, they help us understand things that we won't, aren't necessarily seeing. So I really think God's design includes that. Absolutely. Now, how about another one? How about in the church? Yeah, in the church, it's the same thing, right? Like God has given us all different spiritual giftings, right? When we are saved, we are indwelt with the Holy Spirit and we are given a certain spiritual gift that we are to then turn back to use for his glory. And that means that they're not all the same. I can't sing at all. So I'm not going to get up on stage and sing ever because no one would like that, right? But God has given me other things that I can then use for the church. And he's done the same thing for you. Some people are great at serving. Some people are great spiritual warriors in prayer. Some people are really good at, at uh, taking care of kids. Some people are great at hanging out with high schoolers. Some people are really good at baking. Whatever it is for you, God has given you a special, unique gifting that you can then turn back to him. So thank goodness that we're not all the same and that we have those differences. But when we have those differences, there can be conflicts. At any time there's conflict, I think what it's important to recognize is that if I have conflict with someone else, it's because I'm not getting what I want. So if you're ever like getting in an argument with your spouse or a kid, if you just took a step back for a second and said, you know what the problem is here? I'm not getting what I want. And you, and you encountered it with that way and realized, you know what? It's a good thing that God doesn't always let us have everything that we want because our flesh is very sinful and those desires aren't always what's best for us. And so those differences can help us figure out what is the best plan of attack for a team? What is the best direction for a marriage? And what is the best way that God can use this church right where we are? Yeah. And, and we, we can't deny that conflict or diversity of opinion and perspective it's gonna cause friction. There's gonna be some times when that what I want kind of thing seems to me to be the right thing. Yeah. And the other person's perspective seems to be the wrong thing. And sometimes I have to just later admit, you know something, I was wrong. And to express and use the power of God's love that indwells us. That's why Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. And he said that to those disciples who had conflict with one another, who at times exasperated Jesus because they were wrong. And so our love for one another is meant to be the, the lubricant that allows the diversity to have the power that God intends for it to have. So Absolutely. this weekend, we're gonna be talking about Colossians again, Christ in you, the hope of glory.
That's, That's awesome. Kind of the theme. Hey, we're excited at Crossroads. We are committed to learning just like at a school, just like uh, with teams. We are committed to loving one another and we are committed to trying to be whatever Jesus has for us to be because he's the glue and he's going to hold us together. Yeah. Good to see you all. It's been a great week. As always, this has been CCN and we will CC you later. later.